Schultz and this is my sister Emily and we will be doing the first five exercises from Joseph Pilates Classical Mat. So come to standing at the edge of your mat, bring your hands to your genie position, lift on to releve, cross one leg behind the other, lift tall through your abdominals, zipping, tight and then slowly lower down towards the floor. Your goal is to keep your ankles high and not to use your hands. Of course, need them and use them if it's going to help you. And then open your feet, roll down onto your back, getting ready for your hundred. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Take the legs straight up to the ceiling. Start in parallel, and then rotate out to your Pilates feet, small, about three inches, fist width. Feel the wrap on the back of the thigh. Bring your head up, curling into your upper abdominals, dropping the shoulders down your back. Slowly start to lower the legs. And stop at a position where you feel the load going into your core to hold them, but no stress on your low back. And then pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, then exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Inhale, two, three, four, five, then exhale, two, three, four, five. Focus on your high curl. And then going deep with every exhale. Remembering your abdominals are connected to your diaphragm. So the more you work that exhale, the deeper you'll go with your breath. One more with the arms pumping like this, and now slow arms up to the ceiling. Inhale, two, three, four, five, good. Exhale, two, three. Keep your curl as you lift the arms. Exhale, good. Going deeper, wide shoulders. Inhale, good. Exhale, deepening the curl. Keep the lift. Last two. Good. Exhale. Last one. And exhale. Bring your knees into your chest. Rest your head on the mat. Extend the legs out in front of you. Bring your heels together, toes apart, arms up to the ceiling for your roll up. Drop the shoulders, curl your head up, look through your hands, and then slowly peel up bone by bone. Come to vertical, and we're going to reorganize the exercise. Imagine nine points on your spine, and then slowly roll down. So roll down one inch hold. Another inch hold. Good. One inch hold. One inch hold. We're going to be right about the bra line here. Five more points. Lower hold. Lower hold. Last three. And two. Rest the head for one. Arms up to the ceiling. Reach the arms behind you at 45 degrees. Soften the ribs. Hands come back up to the ceiling. Peel your head through and think of those nine points again. Coming up one inch hold. Feel your ribs sinking down through all those points. One inch hold. Good. Soften the shoulders. Yes. One inch hold. One inch hold. Last four. Three. Two. Last one. Sit tall. Add a round forward. So curl into your C curve. Drop the shoulders. Pull the navel in towards the spine. And now roll down sequentially through those points. So you're still thinking of a pause and a length through different points of the vertebra, especially places that feel sticky or hard to separate. Bring the arms up to the ceiling, reach behind you at 45 degrees. Back up to the ceiling, head peels through. Same thing, flow through your 10 points, but think of pressing them down into the mat as you lift up, and then come right to your rounded forward position. Chin to chest, curl into your low back, reach forward, drop the shoulders. Two more times, coming down. Articulate and lengthen the spine. Find the curl in the pelvis, like an imaginary string from your sternum, pulls you one way as you lengthen down. Find that resistance. Arms behind you, arms to the ceiling. Chin to chest, exhale. And now that string pulls your navel against the back part of your spine as you come forward. Shoulders soft, keep the navel engaged, round forward. So energy from the sternum, energy from the navel, and then slowly coming back down. Last time here, you feel that string on your sternum, keeping your curl in the upper part of your chest as you articulate the low back. Rest the head, reach the arms behind you, back up to the ceiling. Head comes through, push down and come up. And print your spine on your way up. And then come to seated. One transition to roll down. So coming down, bone by bone. Good. Be thoughtful in your transition. Lowering your hands straight to the mat in front of you by your hips. Bring your knees into your chest. Take the legs straight up to the ceiling for your roll over. Back to your Pilates V. Find that engagement in the back of the thigh. We're going to start with a little prep just to warm up the low belly to really feel the lift in the lower part of your abdominal. So take your feet straight up to the ceiling, and then lower back down. Relax the neck. Two more. You can press into my hands. Yes, you can really demonstrate that beautiful lift. Then one more without my assistance. Find those muscles nice. Lower down. That's the first part of your motivation.
vibration as you lift over. So find that curl in your pubic bone, keep the 90 degrees in your legs, lift the legs over your face. Beautiful, that's it. So you're staying parallel. Lower the feet, touch the mat if you can, and then open your legs and line with your shoulders. Reach actively through your arms and slowly roll back down. Yeah. And then bring the feet right back above you and the feet together. One more like this. Find your curl first. So initiate from the low belly to lengthen your legs. Yes! It's how you held your legs in your hundred. It's how you move your legs once you start going in that. Open the legs. And then slowly roll down. So still feel energy through your head and your sternum going away from you as you articulate down. Now reverse the exercise. Keep the legs open. Imagine that they're still squeezed together so there's energy there. Lift the legs up and over your head. Good. Finding that curl. Lower the legs to the mat. Zip the legs together. The zip also goes through your low belly. And then roll down. Eyes close to the face. So every time you go, you're going deeper and slower, finding more length in the low back. Last time here, opening the legs. Curl first. Find the low belly initiation. Yes. Lengthen through the neck. Lower the feet to the floor. Zip the heels together. Slowly roll down. Reach actively through the arms. Actively through the neck in the opposite direction. And then let the legs come straight up here at 90. Drop your right leg down to the mat. Let it rest. Take both hands behind your left calf. Gently pull it towards you for three. And two. Last one. Rest your hands by your side, keeping the legs straight and vertical. Rotate and turn out. And again, you don't have your other leg, but you're still visualizing that you have that connection so that you're still wrapping the seat, as if you're still squeezing that leg on the other side. Getting, for single, getting ready for single leg circle. Cross your other leg, lower, and lift. Today, think more of a D shape than a circle. So really focus on your cross, that inner thigh. Cross, lower, scoop to lift. Good, teamwork. Feel it dynamic within the body. One more. And now reverse that. Lower to lower. And then cross to come up. Inhale here. Exhale, lift. And yes, you can always use your hands. Hold your hip bones so you feel stability. Now you're not articulating your low back. You're holding your low back still by gripping the front of the abdominals. Last time here. Scissor the legs to transition. Lower a leg, lift a leg. And then taking both hands behind the right calf. Gently pull it towards you for three. And two. Last one. Leg to the ceiling, hands to your sides. Reach them actively away, widen the collarbone. Cross the other leg, lower, and lift. Good, find that inhale to cross, exhale to lift. Cross, exhale, lift. Good, inner thigh, low belly. One more, inner thigh, low belly. Reverse it, lower the leg, cross and up. Good, find the length in the front of the hip and keep the length as you cross. So feel that energy. Through your foot, help to turn off the hip flexors. Last two. Last one. Lower that leg slowly to the mat. Transition up by bringing your arms above you, facing the ceiling, chin to chest. Roll up here, bone by bone. Good. Feel that press of the spine into the mat as you lift up to seated. Bend your knees in towards your chest, getting ready for rolling back. Take your hands behind the backs of your thighs and lift your feet off the mat. So we're starting out with a little prep, really getting to that low belly initiation. Momentum is not a muscle group, so just curl back and then come back up. So you're going to feel your weight tip off your sit bones, coming back towards your sacrum. Just like we did in our roll over, where you initiate is very important, and then coming back up. So if you have a hand on your back and a hand on your low belly, just the low belly hand moves as you roll back. Really find your curl. Yes, and part of this is lift in your chest. It helps you find more length in your pelvis and then coming back up. One more time to prepare. So explore the shift of weight in the pelvis. Make sure it's coming from the core and not just by tipping the weight and then pulling back forward using the abdominals. Bring your heels close into your bottom. Cross your hands, so you're holding onto your opposite ankle. So just go a little lower, bring the feet off the mat, chin to chest. So prepare, drop the shoulders. That's going to help get that lift in your upper back. And again, pelvis goes first. Tilt to go back, curl to go back. Just to the shoulder blades, and then right back up. Yes, and do that again. Inhale back, exhale up. It's okay if it's not pretty. The biggest thing you want to do is find that pelvic curl from the low belly to help you initiate back. We don't have to be pretty, but we want to be purposeful. Last time, back and up. So you're welcome to stay here if you want to challenge, like Emily does. So you're going to take your elbows to your knees, and then make a prayer position.
position. Touch your fingers to your head. So find your curl. You're still lifted in your curl. Round your low back. Same thing. Push your navel against your spine. Tilt the weight in the pelvis and then press down to come up. And again, inhale, coming back. Exhale, push down to come up. One more. Inhale, back. Exhale, up. Find the balance. Hold it here. Drop 